Hello visual effects people, I'm AK, this is Fluid Ninja and we are discussing some additional technical details on a possible simulation input. Remember, uh, Fluid Ninja is uh, accepting three kind of input that could drive fluid simulation, cascade particles, bitmaps or you could paint something in Ninja. Now, um, let's have a look how this works in practice. Um, we get back to the Ninja Tools level, go full screen, press play, and go Fluid Ninja. First, I would like to cover Ninja Paint. Um, in a previous video, we have been checking how this works. And one important thing I would like to mention is that uh, what if you would like to save the, the painted data for later use? Um, well, you could do this with this function here, save painted bitmap. Uh, you could have seen the status message. Now I would clear the canvas, so the painted data disappears. And I go density from bitmap, and here we go. It is automatically named and placed in the same directory where the preset is. Uh, now it looks a bit stronger than it was and we could uh, influence this by setting the simulation input weight to a lower value. But the fact is that from now on it is available as a bitmap, so we have been converting painted input into bitmap for later use. Uh, don't forget to save the preset. And that's it. Um, another thing I would like to cover is the positioning of cascade particle input. Uh, you might have seen uh, the waterfall thing. In the input density viewport, it's visible that uh, the particle system is positioned somewhere uh, in the middle. And you could see that in the output density, it is at the top of this uh, simulation area. And we have achieved this by one, uh, defining uh, this thing as input for the simulation, and two, applying a vertical offset on it. So if I uh, set this back to zero, yeah, probably it is jumping back to the middle of the simulation area. Now, why do I want to uh, offset uh, the density input? Well, um, it's the same thing as um, the aspect ratio of this um, simulation area. We are uh, doing some optimizations. As you could see, uh, it is not uh, a perfect square, but I have set the canvas size to something uh, uh, fitting this um, waterfall is like a, a vertically shaped rectangle and I was also offsetting the particle input with these options to optimally fill this uh, simulation area. Don't forget that once we once we bake this and why yeah let's let's give it a try. Yeah this is the area that we have and it is very advantageous to fill in this area and have a mm, optimal um, arrangement because then the image that we are storing is going to occupy uh, less space as Unreal Asset and could be played with less uh, GPU efforts. Well, shortly that's it. Um, and the third kind of input, the bitmap input, uh, we have been covering in a previous video. Shortly, it's just that you could define it here under the input and density from bitmap. Mm, that's all. Thank you for your patience, and that's it. See you.